Welcome to my little corner where there is no wrong way to play with paper and we're still playing with our border strips. We're gonna use pink today. So in this last video, I'm gonna take border strips and I'm gonna make titles with them. Ready made, ready to use titles. Yes, they are going to be color um, pronounced like monochromatic because that way if I have a pink layout, I can add to it. Maybe I, I put on a pink and black layout, I could add a little bit of color to it by embellishing it a little more. And I'll talk about that. Um, later. Now, this is not my idea. None of the ideas that I have shown you over the past few videos are my ideas. They're just things that I do to bash out my um, border strips. Um, this idea came to me through um, uh, Janet Madison of Love RTS. I've mentioned her a couple of times, and it's just a really good way to have met made ready titles, ready made titles. And I don't even know if it was Janet's idea. If I remember right, like somebody sent it to her or she saw it somewhere, I don't remember. But with that said, and I'll put um, RTS scrapbooking below and you can just click on that and go check out her channel. Um, so we've done swaps over on Ginger's Corner Facebook group in the past. I showed you these in the first video. Um, they're wonderful jumping off points and honestly you can make base pages but even further than that like you can store these all right to me this is a fall one. Oh, the kids are home so you're gonna hear things um this is more of a fall vibe you could put this in your fall binder or wherever you keep um maybe you want to store it with brown or this one you want to store with black or peach and or me i'm going to make some today to put in my ready-made titles now i've talked about that before i like to use my scraps and make um die cut titles that i use every day you know uh, hello, home, forever, family. Those are titles that can be used on almost any layout, right? And so you have them ready in a binder and mm, I have them here. I'll show you. Whenever I'm doing one, I do several. So I just have a binder. I love my binders. Y'all know that. If I have white, there's okay. These are ones actually people have sent me because I don't have a lot, but um, these are title or subtitle makers, stickers, um, then I have my longer ones, uh, forever. This is one here. Um, little sentiments I do and I just label them, um, and so forth and so on. This one come out of here. Let's stick it in there. Um, so then when I don't really feel like cutting out a title, but I want to do a page or I'm making a card, which is very rare, but if I made a card or whatever, I have these ready to go. So what I want to do is I'm going to use some more of these long sleeves. I've shown you how to make them. They're in my Amazon store. You can buy them um, where they're half of the thing. And I'm going to put them in the color. So today I'm going to make a couple pink ones and I'll put them in my pink binder with these kind of, you can make these with just your heat gun. I've shown that um, as well. Okay, so let's just use up some of these border strips that we all have, we all need to get rid of, right? Um, so that just sits on my shelf and it looks like that. And I know that it's my titles right here next to me. I'm gonna stick it right back on my shelf. Um, and so that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, I think I explained that. So I'm thinking this is gonna be my base. I usually do start off with a bigger, um, border strip. Now for me, border strips are two inches wide or less and 12 or smaller, but anything wider than two inches, it needs to go on bigger scraps. I'll use it for something else. Okay. So then I was thinking this is a little piece of paper here and I'm just going to kind of play with these. I just kind of pick some papers that kind of went together. Not, there's no rhyme or reason here. Maybe we can go like so. Now you can fishtail them, you could stagger them, you know, like this if you wanted to. There's there's no wrong way to do this at all. I think I actually wanna kinda of stagger it. Let's, let's go with that method. Now, when you do that, you're gonna measure it to 12 inches and then you're gonna cut it down. That's what you'll do, okay? Then I have this, this is an old Creative Memories. Maybe we can put that along here to bring that back. Um, let's see here, can we? even add another layer. Now, again, stick with odds. So five, three, five, seven, that kind of thing. Maybe I could put that here. 
Okay. We'll just kind of go with that. All right. Um, except the word should probably go the right way. It says happy day. <laughs> be kind. Happy day. Yeah. Do, do be mindful if you have a directional paper. We're going to go just like that. Now, this is just a start. I haven't glued nothing yet. I haven't decided for sure yet. And then I pulled out my binder here and, or my color drawer here, and it's full. And I have these stickers. Have you guys bought these foam stickers? And I have all these ones on here that I just need to use up. And I'm thinking, um, Maybe doing like Girl Squad. Let's, let's use it. Why not? So let me get a piece or two of wax paper. And we're going to do what we always do. We're going to do some trial and error. Because we'll see if we like it. Okay? I want to use these up. I've had these forever. I need to use them up. So. We'll put Squad there. And we'll put Girl on the other one. I have really enjoyed hanging out with you guys and just putting some pretty things together and enjoying the process. I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. Okay, so Girl Squad. Like that. Okay. Now we definitely have to figure out how we're going to cover up the... What if we took this, right? Tore it in half. How many of you just flinched? <laughs> like, oh no! And I tuck it in here. Come on, tuck in. And I tuck this one in. So how many would that give us? One, two, three, four, five, six, and this would be seven. Yeah, that's why I was unsure about it. Now I'll cut off the, the hangy hole piece and make it a little bit shorter. But we're gonna go like that. Okay, we'll pretend like that isn't there. And we're gonna go girl squad. I'm even thinking of putting it crooked like that. That looks cute. Okay, then I have this little bear in here. We could just use that. Oh, what does this say? This says go girl. How cute is that? That's super cute. Um, what else do I have? I have a bow, it's very gingham. Could use that. Have all kinds of things. Yeah. Hope. We need kind of. Maybe we should put like a scallop or something. I have all these things here. Let's see. What do we got? We've got all kinds of pretty things. I have teenagers, so we definitely have girl squads around here. Um. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, look at this. This is a circle we have here. Here's this one. We could put a tag behind there. I kind of like that, actually. I think someone sent these in, and I needed to sort them. So, yeah. I'm liking this tag. Or I do have this scrap of paper somebody sent. Because I run out of scraps. I use them all. Just like that. And I could take this tag, right, and go like this, or even, I'm okay with it even being there, like that. That would look super cute. Oh, I kind of like that. And we could do girl squad, and then a little bear over here. Oh, that's really cute. I like that a lot. <gasps> That's cute. See, just like that. And it'll pull in, this has more of a brown vibe. And so that works with that. What else could we use? Let's see what else I got. Maybe I need to pull out my brown stuff. I could do that too. My brown drawer. Let's see. We used that last time it worked out for us. Oh, there's two tags. Um. I mean, I have these, but, oh, look, I have the word journey, a girl squad journey. Facts, it is a journey. <laughs> it is definitely, it is definitely a journey. Okay, I think I'm going to stay with what I have. 
I, I don't think I'm gonna go too crazy this time. So, oh, there's some pretty doilies. I could use this white, I, this is in my white drawer. What if we use this behind there and went like this? And we could even pull this down and have girl squad like so. That would be super cute. But then does it look like she has like a bonnet behind her head? I don't know. That that might not be a good idea. I like the bear. For sure. And I love the tag. I think the tag is going to give it a layer. Or we could go like this, punch a hole, and put some brown and white. Um, whoops. Oh my goodness. Some brown and white ribbon or twine in there i think i even have some see we could do that tie a little bow around it and then put girl squad here i mean how cute would that be we could ink all of these layers in black i think that's what i'm gonna do okay let me put it together i'll come back and i'll show you a finished one okay so we got it all glued down this one turned out so cute i'll put close-ups at the end all right so let's try to make one more and I pulled out some goodies and let's see what we can do. We have this one. I kind of want to use Celebrate is what I'm thinking I wanna use. So let's put that on a piece of wax paper. If it doesn't work, we'll try to figure out something else. But I don't have a lot of birthday stuff, so I know I would use this. So let's see here. Celebrate, celebrate, okay. So there's our, our title part that's gonna go on there. Now you could use letters, you can use all different, use up alphas, whatever you have. This is just what I'm trying to use up today. So there's that, and I'm thinking I want to do kind of like a banner. So let's see here. Let's cut it about in the middle. And go like so. This is our big one to start with. Then what I was kind of thinking, I made this for a swab, I don't even remember, and it has extras, so I could use these, keep it together and use these on the layout. And where else am I ever gonna use this? We have that. Now I need to add some more color. Ooh, I like this one. This one looks, oh, look at this one. How cute is the hearts? Okay, so we definitely have that one. We are gonna need some bigger ones though. So we could do that and banner that, have that as a shelf for right there. I mean, I guess you could just use two. Why not? I mean, there's no rules. You do whatever you want. I do have, these are some of the bigger pieces. I have this, but the stripes are, I could cut that, this one down. Do I have something else so I don't have to cut that down? Yeah, I'm being lazy. Oh, look, here's this. This might work, so I want it bigger. These are pretty much my small ones. I need to use them up. Who am I kidding? I really do need to use them up. So we should do that. I could use this one. I could ink it. Okay. There. Oh, look at the teal. That's pretty too. <laughs> Just like, oh. All right. We're we're gonna we're gonna use this. Like so. Go like that. And then this one's like so like that okay so then we'll put this back here we still need to fishtail this one so let's do that I just pulled these things out of my binder um because I didn't really have anything else left in my color drawer but that's all right okay just like that like that and that's only three so we're gonna need something else I'm really thinking I need to use this I mean, I don't want to, but you know. I mean, maybe I could find, oh look, here, ask and you shall receive, and it's a bigger one too. Great, perfect. Okay, so let's fishtail this one, like so. I do like inking them, but I think I'm gonna ink them everything in pink. So, we'll do that. Go like that, go like that. Where does this need to be? Just like so. I like the stripe poking out, for sure. Oops. Like that. 
like this. Okay. And we might have to bring this down just because celebrate will be over the top, but that wouldn't be bad either. Yep, totally talking myself over here. Don't mind me. I want this one behind. Oh my goodness. Come on now. Like so. Like so. I like that. Okay. Oh my gosh, it just keeps moving. <laughs> Call me Bumble the Dingers over here. Hmm. Okay, we're going stripping. We're going stripping. <laughs> I absolutely love the name of this series. It truly just makes me bust out laughing every single time I hear it. Okay, I think we're going to have to make this one shorter. Go like that. Then we'll go celebrate like that. And then we'll put this here. What else do we have? I did pull out this little frame, which I do like. Could do that. I have... Didn't I have a llama? I have a llama. I mean, how stinking cute is the llama? How do you not like the llama? I mean, I probably wouldn't use it anywhere else. Okay, so we could go like, let's just layer. That's what clusters are. Basically, I'm creating a cluster on some border strips. That's all I'm doing. That's it. Nothing fancy here, folks. Okay, go like that. Then we got the llama. How stinking cute is the llama. And you can never have too many sprinkles. That's really cute. I think I'm I think I just like that. I could put some gems, obviously, like I did the other one, which I didn't really talk about that. I added some heart gems that I had in my pink um drawer. So, and it's really sturdy. Once you get it all glued together, I know it looks a hot mess over here. But what if I added, I'm not going to use those. What if I added this to, come on, you guys, I'm telling you, I can't grip. You see this? I can't even open a Ziploc bag. It's ridiculous. What do we got? Oh, bless you, Jill. Okay, so I could add a couple more of these down here. It'll match. And then I'll have these for the layout because it says chocolate is the answer. So let's, let's, I'm going to go with that and just add some gems to it. So let me ink everything in pink. Let me glue it down. I'll come back and we'll talk about the two I did. All right. Hang in there. All right. So I got this one all glued. I did add this little floral embellishment that I had sitting here on the desk um, and gave it a little more. I'll put close-ups at the end. I hope you guys have enjoyed the different ways to use your strips of scraps. And I would love to see what um, you create. So I will put an album on Ginger's Facebook group called Let's Go Stripping, <laughs> like this series, and put your stuff in there. That way I can see it because I'll check the album every once in a while. I would love to be inspired by your work. Um, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. If you like the video, then I'll know that you want more content using our scraps and strips of paper. And tell me what you think. I always answer you. I appreciate you being here. Be blessed, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye. Thank you.